Hello, I'm Dr. Anthony Rizzi of the Institute for Advanced Physics. I'm a physicist. Today on Faith Matters, we'll be discussing the home of science, which as you may know, is the Catholic Church. It may be surprising to many, but indeed, it only takes a few moments of thought to realize that Galileo was a Catholic. The only reason he got in trouble for what, what had happened at the time is we, because he was a Catholic in a Catholic milieu. He, his great discoveries he wanted to offer up for the church. And indeed, the first scientists to really take the name were within the Catholic milieu. That science started in, in Greek for the first time, I, I would say it this way, the first conception of science was in Greece, but the conception was not complete, it miscarried. The culture was not able to receive it. It wasn't until the Catholic Church was able to form her own culture at the beginning of the year 1000 that, first of all, universities, the first universities in the world started springing up. And they sprung up like daisies, they weren't exceptions. And you can list the city, it reads like the, a list of the cities of Europe. Each one wanted to have its own. Knowledge was very important. Understanding the physical was very important. And at the beginning you had people like Rosa Test and Brodradine, who both were Archbishops of Canterbury, very high churchmen and priests and bishops. These people contributed mightily to the beginnings of the scientific breakthroughs that happened around the time of Galileo. And you can trace these histories from St. Thomas Aquinas finally putting the thought of Aristotle plain and clear and giving it a firm foundation and then being received into the Catholic milieu that respected and nurtured human thinking so that now you had for the first time a place where science could blossom and then be taken to the four corners of the earth from India to China and when the Jesuits came to China they were surprised at how little knowledge the Chinese have had and that they brought them great riches in terms of knowledge. And now you find universities all over the world because Catholic Europe has planted them there. This has been Faith Matters. Thank you for listening.